What up, YouTube? Asia Persuasion here, Team YB, and we're here with second place. Oh, What's your name and what'd you do today, uh, man? Alfie Danklinson. I got second oh, place at UDS Las Vegas. Bro, how does it feel, man? I know you look great. tired. I am. We were talking awesome. yesterday, but you look really, really worn out. But I am. You did really good, man. All right, get into this profile with this. All right, we're oh, playing. Oh wait, you got a dark end too. Yeah. Oh, we got. He, he got that young ultra dark end. I already got rid of the mat. But. Yeah, the mat's gone if that's what you got. I was playing one. Paleozoic. I think we're gonna play Played free swap frogs. Ulti swap frogs are loyal swap frogs. Tell them I can't they. tell you how many times I top decked this, and it was insane. It saved your life, man. Uh, three Duke frog, two Ronin standard, two Max C. Yeah, skinning band. <laughs> <laughs> Card's too good, man. Uh, Paleozoics, three wow. Illinois, uh, three Dino Miscus, three Canadia, and two Morella. Six for uh, Regular traps, 3D barrier, three Song Strike. Uh, three lost win. This card's broken. Oh man, I'm sure nobody uh, knew what that card really did. In my top four match, I opened three of this in my opening hand, game one. What? And it was great. It <laughs> I wasn't worked upset out. at all. <laughs> yeah, man, this card's uh, good. Three Wapaku. He's still a believer. I love this card still, too. Wapaku's really good. Uh, two Storming and two Drowning. So oh, I remember a story you saying that if you weren't playing four Mirror Forces, you would have lost. Uh, this is true. I played <laughs> against uh, Patrick James in Swiss. And it was easily the hardest game or match of the entire tournament. Uh, game one, he had me at uh, 2,400 life points, and all I had was a strike and an Olenoides. That's it. And he had like three or four cards in his hand and like three back row, and he was attacking me with a throw blade. So I activated this, targeted his back row, chained this, Summed it in defense. He, he attacked die. over it just so I wouldn't die because yep. I wanted to be able to activate my strike. Uh, he overlaid for Tiger Mortar. I striked it, putting myself at 900. And I'm like, if I don't top deck card of demise, I lose. <laughs> and we top deck card of demise. Hey. And that card of demise drew us another card of demise, a mirror force, and a compulse. So we, so we set those, voice. stalled out another turn. Activated another card of Demise, drew another Mirror Force, a Paleozoic, and another Demise. So, so I resolved three Demise at 900 life points to beat Patrick James game one. The man I did not the deserve that at all. <laughs> card Demise is OP, bro. Yeah, and then uh, Compulse and Warning. Uh, I mained this because of the Bazufo. Uh -huh. I didn't play any. Yeah. We have three card Demise and two Pie Desires. They were off to the side. These, these cards win games. Oh yeah, I threw them. Yeah, they, they were shit yeah. over here, so I, th yeah. I thought I'd throw them in the deck we, file. Yeah, yeah, we all knew that. It's probably good to have those in the deck profile. <laughs> so it was 44 cards. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I know the guy who got top uh, eight at the Atlanta was playing two and two. Uh, I was testing that, and every time I drew this card, this much it was game. game. So I might as well play three, and yeah. it was great. Nice. So 44 in the main. 44 in the main. All right, you can go to the side or extra. I'll go to the side first. Yeah. Leave the extra deck for the end. We'll do the extra first. No, you gotta show off the extra right now. Then the oh yeah, the sleeves. Shout out to the texture sleeves. Leaves from back in the old days where you can't buy them anymore. Last from the past. <laughs> uh, we played three toad. Did you uh, get a warning for a European toad? Your foreign toads? No. No. <laughs> I got deck checked twice and they they said I was fine both times. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this is pretty much like the only extra deck card I made for the most part. Yeah. Uh, I made this a couple times in like my feature against Denny Yu. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it was good. Uh, I made I didn't make this at all, but you have to play it. Mm -hmm. uh, Catch Arc was really good in the feature match. I made Downer Magician with two toads, and then I made this and punched over his set Luna Light guy for like four thousand. No. Uh, Digusto Phoenix, uh, Sky Cavalry, Crumble Logos. Uh, I didn't make any of these, but like you need this for the OTK. Yeah. This out's problem cards, uh, and this is your out to row the creek. Um, I played. F zero didn't make it. Uh, Downer magician. I played two. Uh, I didn't make the second one, but it was good in theory. Yeah. Um, played a Dryden. Uh, for when you take a uh, a zodiac monster, you can flip it up and yeah. just make your own Dryden. Yeah, uh, the fifteenth extra deck spot was. I was really. I wasn't sure what to play. 
uh, I decided to play a Gachi Gachi. Gachi Gachi. It was, I didn't make it at all, but I, I wish that this was a Broad Bull or yeah. like a Tiger Mortar or something that wasn't a Dryden, so because I stole, I stole a someone's Dryden. Yeah. It happened twice. I stole a Dryden and I flipped it up and I wasn't able to make my own Dryden because I can't use the same monster. Gotcha. So yeah, definitely a Broad Bull over Yeah, Broad Bull over Gachi for sure. Yeah. On the side deck. <laughs> we got the bay token. Uh, bay token. Uh, two barrier stats through the torrent. Um, this card's really good against Infernoid. That's why I cited it. Uh, you can just, like, if they have snow in the grave or something, you clear their board and you just summon this, and then they can't chain snow or, like, anything or summon Infernoids for the rest of the game. Yes. Um, I didn't really use it a whole lot. It, it came up a couple times, but most of the time it just got beat over. Like, I summoned it against a pure zoo player, and... He, he had the whip tail, so he just yeah, attacked he over it, but... Uh, and then we played Regeki, two Dark Holes. That's standard. Uh, two Twin Twister. Uh, against my... I think it was top 16. I was playing uh, Masu... I think his last uh, name was... Masu Williams. Williams, yeah. Uh, I opened... He played into the max C, yeah. and, but I already had this in my hand. So it didn't even matter. Anymore. And he like set four back row, and I'm like, twin twister, twin twister, dark hole. And then he, and he goes, yeah, dude, you have everything. Yeah, I'm like, can't beat that. That's broken. Uh, breakthrough skill for when you're going first, and you're scared of Denko. <laughs> yeah, Denko Rekka. Uh, it didn't really come up. That's every time I got Denkoed, and lost. every time I got Denkoed, I lost. Yes. Um, but two out of the three times I got, I got Denkoed in the finals, obviously. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but the other two times I got Denkoed, um, my opponent was going first, and they would uh, terror top, make totem bird, barrage, do their combo, and then summon Denko, and I'm looking at like a handful of traps. Yeah, you just lost. So it was just yeah. uh, two forbidden apocrypha. This card only came up in the finals. It was very good though. Um, three imperial iron wall. Uh, you have to play it for Inferno White, it's your worst matchup. Yeah. And then two anti-spell fragrance when you go first against a 60 card deck. For sure. So shout outs, my friend. I know you got some. Oh man, I got a lot of shout outs. <laughs> shout out to everyone who supported me while I was here. Everyone that came here with me. Uh, Brandon Thiel, uh, Kyle Femmer, not Matt Fox. Not <laughs> Never Matt Fox. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all of them. <laughs> all right, man. Congrats on getting second place Thank at UDS, you. man. And you'll get them next time, man. Got it. All right. <laughs>